Hey Capricorn, hope you guys are doing well. So the messages I got for you guys is someone will express their feelings for you. Signs I was seeing was Sag, Gemini, Leo, and Taurus. Um, I was also getting disappointed about an ending. So that could be your energy um, or somebody that you were dealing with. I was also getting tempted to pursue a new connection. Now, I will say this feels like if you're in a connection already, or if your person's in a connection already, tempted to someone's tempted to pursue another connection. I was getting kind of like the devil energy with that. So it made me feel like third party type of energy, not gonna lie. Um, fire sign energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I was getting Libra and Taurus with that. So, Spirit, what are the messages for Capricorn? For those of you interested in a personal reading, you can visit my website at swordstarot.com. Also, for those of you interested in learning how to read tarot, my tarot training link is down below. Spirit, what are the messages? Okay, we have the Eight of Wands. Communication coming out, Sagittarius energy here. Somebody could have something to tell you. Spirit, what are the messages? The Eight of Swords. Okay, so somebody could be scared to tell you something. You could be seeing 888 around in the universe. You do have two eights already. That's just the universe telling you that abundance is coming your way. So really good number to see. Um, yeah, I do feel like somebody's very scared to tell you something, but they want to admit the truth about something. You do have the devil card here at the bottom of the deck with the ace of swords. Somebody wants to admit something to you. Okay, what are the messages? Okay, the sun card could be a Leo energy here but yeah so there's gonna be some light shed on something uh with the sun card here you may be getting some information that makes you happy this information might make you really happy um, i feel like somebody may express their feelings for you uh, with the page of cups energy here the two of cups somebody really does care about you here it could be a leo spirit what are the messages the wheel of fortune this could be a I feel like for some of you, you're getting into a new connection. We do have the Wheel of Fortune and the Ace of Cups. So new love could be coming in here for you. The Magician, Gemini energy, also Virgo. The Lover's card was at the bottom of the deck there. So it definitely could be a Gemini. Uh, but I do see someone has feelings for you here. There, what are the messages for Capricorn? Okay, the two of wands, yep, a potential partnership. Someone sees potential with you. The world card, I feel like somebody's gonna pursue you. So what are the messages? The nine of coins, okay. So a lot of you could be getting your confidence back here with the nine of coins um really just regaining your power i feel like a lot of you could be focused on finances as well finances could be improving for you uh, we do have the page of pentacles here as well so uh yeah finances definitely are um a big i don't want to say issue but i feel like a big focus here i feel like for a lot of you, you could be um doing new things to make money or trying to bring in money you know different type of ways uh, different streams of income could be a focus for some of you. You could be learning something here as well. For some of you, you could be taking classes or taking notes uh, somewhere, learning how to bring in more income for yourself. The Hierophant just wanted to come out. Uh, for some of you, a Taurus wants to express how they feel towards you or vice versa. Spirit, why is the Eight of Wands energy here? Seven of Wands. Okay. So maybe you feel like you cannot talk to this person this person feels like they cannot talk to you there's something about blocked communication here between you and somebody else it's very give me more on the seven of wands the two of pentacles okay so maybe for some of you if you were to talk to this person you'd be juggling two people we do have a water sign here cancer pisces scorpio energy here with the lovers and the devil okay so somebody could be in a relationship with this person with the devil card here things have gone toxic Let's see or there's like a codependency attachment we do have clarifying the eight of swords we have the eight of swords and the nine of swords somebody is really in their head about something spirit clarify the eight of swords and the nine of swords this could be this person really thinking about you a lot Ten of Pentacles, yeah, I feel like somebody like like overthinks about having a life with you, having stability with you, the Ten of Pentacles. Hmm. They just told me 
kicking themselves. Maybe this person's like kicking themselves for not pursuing you earlier or giving you a chance. Why is the sun card here? The sun, yeah, I feel like you're like you would be their happiness. The sun is the king, the king of pentacles, which is you. Maybe they rejected you in the past, or you rejected them. Somebody really is regretting their decision. Give me more on the four of cups. Yeah, someone's really regretting their decision. Somebody could have made an offer to you. Could have been a Libra. Um, I've also got Leo here, whoever. Um, and maybe you rejected the offer or vice versa. I feel like they're regretting that decision. Why is the Page of Cups energy here? The Page of Cups is a message. It could be good news coming in here for you. The Page of Swords. I feel like somebody pays attention to you, spies on you. Hmm. Maybe it's, okay, I just got, somebody is waiting for you to be single or waiting for you to leave a connection. We do it before swords. This person, you are really on somebody's mind here. Give me a fire sign, Aries Leo Sag. What is the Wheel of Fortune energy here? The judgment card. Yeah, you're gonna have an option to pursue this or not. You do have the magician. So yeah, this person is like actively manifesting you into their life or vice versa. By all this thinking, you know, our thoughts manifest. This person does nothing but think about you. Literally. Let's see, what is the magician card here? King of Swords with the Ten of Wands. Okay. So they could be, this person could come with some burdens, um, some baggage with the Ten of Wands energy here. Hmm. I'm feeling stagnancy. Yeah, the three of so somebody is waiting, like waiting for some sort of breakdown of a relationship. Like I'm, I'm getting the energy. Somebody is waiting for you to become single. Let's see. Give me more on the hanged man. Yeah, because like they know this would be a third party. This person wants to reunite with you. Like I feel like this is someone you already know. Whether you dated them or not, this is somebody that you know. Could be a friend. The three of cups. Strong Pisces energy here as well. Leo. So why is the two of wands here? Hey, yeah, you're heavily on someone's mind for sure. Why is the two of wands energy here? There is, yeah, somebody really wants a new beginning with you. Somebody feels abandoned by you as well. Maybe they want to tell you that, but they're holding back. Some of you is going to be an Aries. Why is the Nine of Coins energy here? The Wheel of Fortune, the Tower. Okay, for some of you, you're newly single or are going to be newly single with the Tower. You could be dealing with the Scorpio. Uh, the Wheel of Fortune has come out twice. So I do want to clarify the Wheel of Fortune again because I feel like that's really significant here. So why is the Wheel of Fortune energy here? The Two of Wands again. Okay, so you're. I feel like you have a choice in love. You have a choice. I'm, I'm feeling like that choice is stay with the person that you're with now or pursue this new person. Because I feel like the two Wheel of Fortunes here is representing an ending of one cycle and the beginning of another is kind of what I'm getting. Uh, we do have the Page of Pentacles here. Clarifying that, we have the Fool and the Three of Pentacles. Okay. So for some of you, there could be opportunity coming in for work. Like I said, I do feel like for some of you, you could be working on new streams of income, uh, possibly new job situations, whatever the case is. I see you going for something here with the Fool. You could have support from other people as well. Maybe... Like I feel like maybe you and somebody else are doing something together. The Three of Pentacles is like co-worker energy. What is the full card here? Yeah. I feel like you're wanting to move on from a toxic or just hectic situation. The Five of Wands is like conflict. Maybe there's like a really negative work situation and you're just ready to move on from it. I see you getting an opportunity to do so. Uh, with the full card, this definitely could be like a new job offer coming in or maybe you're just wanting to take a leap of faith to start your own business. Something like that with the full card. So what is the overall advice for Capricorn? You have a lot of choices to make. They just told me out of nowhere. I feel like this person's going to express how they feel out of nowhere. Like maybe you're not, this is, maybe this person is not even on your radar. Like I said, you may have rejected the rejected them in the past. This person's been thinking about you the whole fucking time. Is kind of what I'm getting. Seven of Pentacles. Okay, growth here. For some of you, you could be expecting a baby. Seeing that here. 
The Seven of Pentacles is this girl. I'm also seeing like your work, hard work paying off in something, maybe you've invested in something. I see your investment growing. Uh, we do have before a sword, so this is healing. I feel like advice is to give yourself time to heal. So if you are, if this is your message and you're like leaving a situation and jumping right into another one, advice is to give yourself time to heal first. The Six of Swords and the Four of Swords, allow yourself some time. We do have the King of Wands, so advice is to take action on something that you've wanted to take action on, whether that is love or career. I feel like for a lot of you, that's career. For one more card for advice for Capricorn. The Three of Cups, okay. So the Three of Cups has advice. This could be to have fun. The Three of Cups is also celebration. So if there's something you're celebrating or if like people are inviting you out to go do stuff, definitely go. I feel like it could be, could help with your healing. You may meet someone important, whether that has to do with love or, or work or whatever. Yeah, I'm just getting a lot of healing energy, the star. Give yourself time to heal, especially if you're jumping. Give yourself time to heal for sure. That's definitely a big um a big message for you but I'm do feeling like it's very important and of course I would tell this to Capricorns have fun as advice give yourself time to have a little bit of fun that's very healing for your spirit uh, for your energy so be sure you are letting loose a little bit sometimes so I do hope that this reading was helpful for you guys if you'd like a personal reading you can visit my website at swordstarot.com also for those of you interested in learning how to read tarot my tarot training link is down below and I'll see you guys in the next video